there are so many kids who, for a whole range of reasons, maybe because you know life at home is chaotic, or um, they are you know experiencing a high level of disadvantage or vulnerabilities in the home just don't have the kind of range of opportunities open to them that other kids might. And this came into kind of particular kind of focus for me when we undertook a couple of years ago a piece of work about growing up north. And uh, the notion that there's been a north-south divide in terms of opportunity obviously is well understood. But I wanted to see whether that was the reality for um, a, a lot of kids still growing up in the north. And what I found with that, you know, often you look at schools and um, there was certainly more entrenched disadvantage with communities in the north. Um, And often some of the uh, poorest schools in those communities. Um, Now, I understand why that is the case. You know, it's difficult to recruit. You've often got um, uh, more uh, problems that, that need to be solved around the school. But actually, when you look at those similar cohort of children in London, where there have been an investment in a a school challenge, the results were far, far ahead in London than uh, in other areas of the country. So when you're looking at education, there was simply this divide where for a similar group of children who were on free school meals, there were great, you know, there was a vast disadvantage gap between kids in one community in the north and in the south which I believe can be overdone in a very straightforward way by investment and indeed um, there is a a proposal out at the moment from the northern powerhouse how how there could be a catch-up premium for school because no doubt those children will have fallen further behind during uh, the lockdown but it went much wider than schools it was also access to Uh, museums, to art, to culture, to sport, uh, a lot of which was seen to be not there for them, either out of reach because it was geographically somewhere they couldn't get to, or because it wasn't being presented in a way that they felt actually could speak to them. Um, When you look at areas of the country um, and look at where a lot of the arts and culture Um, uh, opportunities are there there were great swathes of the north where kids just couldn't see that that was something for them so I've been really encouraged by some of the schemes that the Arts Council and others are putting forward to reach out to communities Uh, trusts like Shine uh, UK are looking at working with schools but also working to help uh, overcome some of those things in the north I think there's a lot of will there but I do think we need to look again how we make those opportunities real which is about getting to those kids as early as possible and making sure that they that if you like the those opportunities come to them rather than waiting for them to be able to kind of find their way in 